Hi, here we are at Chapella Market, my favorite market on Lakeside. Pulls the produce is so fresh, they absolutely last in your fridge for weeks. It's creamy and luscious, tastes absolutely wonderful. The tomato sauce, the basil, the cheese, it's all absolutely delicious. I do hope you'll try this for your family and friends. Hi, I'm Stella V, and today eggplant is on the menu. I'm here in Ahi, Mexico, and for weeks, the eggplant at the market have been calling my name. So today, we'll be preparing a classic eggplant parmigiana. Chopped onion, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, chopped garlic, and I've chosen to add a little bit of red pepper flakes for a little bit of bite. You can find the recipe in the description. There's a safe link and simply click on that and we'll send it directly to your email. Now, if you're not ready to prepare this meal today, please hit subscribe and you can come back to our recipe anytime. The two most important ingredients, of course, are eggplant and Parmigiano Reggiano. Slicing the eggplant is really simple. The most important thing, have a very sharp knife and then just quarter inch slices all the way down. And there you have it. I've added salt to my eggplant. After about 30 minutes or an hour, I will rinse these and dry them very well. This makes a delicious vegetarian main, but it also makes a delicious appetizer for any main course. The Instant Pot makes it so easy because you can saute, braise, do any number of functions. Using my Instant Pot, we can make this classic dish in about 30 minutes. We're gonna start by adding olive oil to the bottom of the pot and we'll be sauteing the slices. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil, hit the saute button, and we'll be browning the slices. It's just gonna take a minute or so for the oil to heat up. It really is important to wait till the oil is hot because eggplant is like a natural sponge and it will soak up any excess oil. That takes about a minute per side and we're adding a lot of flavor to the oil. We're adding some flavor to the eggplant slices. I can tell the oil is ready. It's sizzling when I add the eggplant. My eggplant is beautifully browned. Now it's time to saute the onions. That's one medium onion diced. The onions have been sauteing for about a minute. They're getting nice and soft. Time to add two cloves of minced garlic. We always add the garlic on top of the onions because garlic burns really quickly and this gives it a little bed to rest on. The onions and garlic have been sauteing and now we're adding the tomato puree. And three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We'll give everything this 
And don't forget to add salt and pepper to taste. I usually start with about a teaspoon of salt. And this will be the sauce for eggplant parmigiana. Okay. We're going to let that cook down for about five minutes on the saute and this is a really good time to do the next important part of our eggplant parmigiana and it's time to grate our parmigiano reggiano. A pro tip, you can always tell it's real parmigiano because the rind has been engraved with the date and stamped. I always save all my rinds from Parmigiana Reggiana. I simply put it in a little cellophane bag in the freezer and then I add them to soups and stews and all kinds of sauces. It adds such a rich, rich flavor. About 20 years ago, I heard Martha Stewart say something that stuck with me. Always have the right tool for the job. And I'm telling you, the microplane grater is the best tool to grate any kind of hard cheeses. Microplane graters are laser cut. They are so sharp, so easy to use. Simply slide it over the laser cut grooves and make it snow. You can find the full range of microplane products. If you look in the description, you'll see a link to all microplane products on Amazon. Time to hit the cancel button. Along with our instant pot, we'll be using a few other pieces of equipment to, in order to make this dish. I have a 7-inch springform pan. A 7-inch fits perfectly in a 6-quart or 8-quart pot. And if you look in the description, you'll find a link to Amazon and you can order one if you don't have it. You'll also need a sling because it makes it so much easier to lift the pan out. I don't have one here in Mexico, but you can simply make one using foil. Just make sure it's long enough, fold it in three for strength, and that way you can easily lift out the pan. Lastly, you'll need a trivet. Any kind of trivet will do. I'm simply using an oil-based spray on the pan. And now it's time to start layering. We're going to take our breadcrumbs and we'll add a teaspoon to the bottom of the pan. Next, we'll be adding a layer of that wonderful sauce and it smells heavenly. We're simply going to layer a few more breadcrumbs. Parmigiano cheese. Simply continue layering the eggplant sauce, parmigiano and breadcrumbs layer by layer and if this reminds you of a lasagna yeah you're right it does look a little like a lasagna i had a little sauce left over so i've just put that in a measuring cup i've cleaned out the instant pot and i've added one and a half cups of water to the bottom the trivet has been set on the bottom and i've taken our layered eggplant lasagna put it on some foil and we'll be completely wrapping it up in the foil I've covered it with a layer of foil, and now the bottom layer comes up, and the entire pan will be covered in the foil. Placed it on the sling, and now the entire pan goes into the Instant Pot. Make sure the handle of your sling is over the top, and simply fold it down. The lid goes on, locked in place, Sealing position on, and we will be pressure cooking for 18 minutes.
We're just waiting for the timer to count down to zero from 18, and then we're going to let it naturally release for another 10 minutes. Many times you'll see eggplant parmigiana using mozzarella cheese. Well, you can do that, but true eggplant parmigiana only uses parmigiano cheese. But if you'd like to add the mozzarella, that's okay too. It's your dish. We've had 18 minutes of cook time, 10 minutes naturally release, and now we're just about ready to take the lid off. As you can see, the sling makes it really easy to just simply lift the whole pan right out of the Instant Pot. We've taken off the top layer of foil, and now we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes so that it sets and it'll be easy to slide out of the pot. The eggplant parmigiana has been resting for about 10 minutes and I've simply taken a knife and run it along the outside edge. I'm now ready to open up the ring and slide it off. Lifting it onto a plate, it looks beautiful, smells wonderful and cleanup is really simple. We'll simply garnish with another layer of Parmigiano. And some chopped fresh basil. You can cut into wedges, but I like to serve mine layer by layer with an additional little sprinkling of Parmigiano. And now the moment we've been waiting for. It smells absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try it. It's, it's creamy and luscious. Tastes absolutely wonderful. The tomato sauce, the basil, the cheese, it's all absolutely delicious. I do hope you'll try this for your family and friends. I want to take a moment to thank all my subscribers. You're such an inspiration. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on that button. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Let me know if you've made this dish. Leave those comments. I really love reading them and I enjoy your feedback. It helps me to bring you dishes that you want to try. Come cook with me. I'm Stella V. Hi, come cook with me because I'm Stella V. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe, leave a comment, tell me that you subscribed, and I'll reply.